Hello Phantom Pilots and fellow YouTubers. I decided to make a little video about how I made my Phantom uh, battery clip mod. Uh, the tools used are just a pair of mechanical pliers and the measurement I usually use to make the bends are the width of the pliers here. This seems to bend uh, the copper very well and make nice acute right angle bends. So I, what I do is the first step, uh, this is about 55 millimeters long copper wire, uh, plate wire. And what I will do is I make the first bend here, like this. Make the first bend, try to keep it perpendicular and straight as you make that first bend. You don't want this first tab to be too long. Um, that's the one that's going to clip into the battery. If it is too long here, it'll interfere with uh, the clip inside the P3. Then I take, adjusting that about like so, and make the second bend. Now we have this scenario. which will seem to fit pretty good. Now this is really a trial and error until you get uh, you know, your first one made. I then of course made you know, the prototype and then I line up the first prototype that fits nicely after trial and error. You definitely want it to fit nice and snug down in here and then as it comes out, it, you know, you can have it nice and long, so you can adjust it or cut it to whatever width you would like. So after you make the first uh, trial and error bends and get your prototype made, you'll then line up each additional piece, like so, and make, make your second or third bend now. now I'm kind of just fudging it here to kind of show you how I had done it. But yes, lining these up for this third bend, something like that, because you want these to be the same. So then make your other bend, like so. Double check it. Make sure she'll clip in there. May have to make some adjustments, but there we go. Something like this. So if you're going to do one, you might as well do three, four, or five. Now after you get it to fit nice and flush here, you then have all this extra length, which you can cut off to adjust the length. What I now do, of course, you need space for your TX60 connector. So I then usually We'll space it about like so, and then make the other bend. This is the bend that goes into the TX60 connector. Now, as you can see, it is too long, but that's all right, because we can adjust the length later. Once you get it all mocked up as so, you then make your cut to fit into the TX, TX uh, connector, which is about, say, a length of so. I'm doing this quick and easy on the fly. So now I got roughly my length adjusted for this scenario. I then will take and just grab the tip here and gently bend that to get it started each side kind of work it till you get a bend started like so you then take that and starting at the very bottom here 
right there. Gently squeeze. Don't get your fingers in the way. Squeeze it until it starts to bend, see? And then slowly work, fabricate this and work this by twisting and turning and manipulating the copper into a fashion like so. You now have your uh, insertion into your TX60 connector. And then I just solder it, solder it into place. But that's kind of the rough idea of how, how I did the mod. Um, very basic, quite easy to do. I hope this uh, helps you Phantom Pilots and fellow beginners to make your own DYI clip. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.